Hi, this is Monique with Video Gaming Anime Network, and today I'll be showing you how to deploy a Windows Server 2012 on a virtual machine. In this demo, I will be using VMware Workstation 9.0. To view your current version, you can go up to Help and About VMware Workstation, and here under the Product Information, you can check the version, which you can see that I'm running 9.0.0, build 8123AA which is pretty much uh, the equivalent of Microsoft Windows patch. Uh, VMware uses a build identification to verify their patch on uh, the current version ID. So let's go ahead and choose OK. Now the first thing that you'll want to go ahead and do is go up to File and click New Virtual Machine. And here you'll be presented with a new virtual machine wizard. And you'll have two type of configurations you can choose. You can do a typical or a custom. And here we'll go ahead in this demo and choose a typical configuration. And let's click Next. The next screen brings you to a guest operating system installation and you're presented with three different options. Now you can install the OS from a CD-ROM. You can choose to use an ISO image, which is what we'll be using in this demo. Or you can choose that I will install the operating system later. The virtual machine will be created with a blank hard disk. So in this demo, I'll be using an ISO. And you can go ahead and choose to browse for your location on where you have that ISO stored. What's really nifty about using an ISO is that VMware will automatically detect what operating system you're installing. Now here you can see will be installing Windows Server 2012, but let's just say you use an ISO for Windows Server 2008 or Windows Server 2003 or maybe Windows Desktop 7. Well, it will automatically detect uh, that OS. So let's go ahead and choose Next. And here you'll be presented with an easy install information. Now you can choose to implement your Windows product key now or you can wait until later and manually add it in, which is what we'll be doing in today's demo. And then you can also personalize your windows. So I'm going to go ahead and change the full name to Awesome Sauce, and then configure the password for this account. And you can choose to log on automatically, but we'll pass on that and we'll choose Next. It popped up a warning because I didn't enter a Windows product key, but it tells me, hey, you can manually activate this later. Would you like to continue? We'll choose yes. And here you'll have the opportunity to name your virtual machine. Now, best practice is usually not to implement spaces within a virtual machine name, just because it's easier to identify the server, it's easier to maintain file shares, it's easier for, say, if you work in an enterprise environment and you have a group of developers that use servers, SQL servers, web servers, application servers. It's much easier for them to code um, when there's no namespaces. So I'm going to go ahead and rename this to Hello Kitty. And I'm also going to change my location to my bigger hard drive. So we'll go down here to my computer and choose the K drive and choose my folder Hello Kitty and click OK and choose next and now you'll have to specify your disk capacity now what's new with Windows Server 2012 is that the OS recommended size is 60 gigabytes now in 2008 R2 when you would spin off a VM uh, the recommended space allocation is 40 gigabytes so you can see that there's a 20 gigabyte difference and you can choose to store the virtual disk as a single file or multiple files. Now for best practices and just to get yourself familiar with how an enterprise environment works from a guest OS level, uh, it's best to just choose split the virtual disk into multiple files because when you get an enterprise environment you have your own vSphere and you have over 100 to 200 you know, virtual servers, all of those are split into multiple files. You have your swap file, you have your VMDKs, etc. And you will have to manage those. So just become familiar. We're going to go ahead and split the virtual disk into multiple files. So click Next. And here you'll be presented with 
basically an end summary configuration information on what you're going to be creating. And you can also go ahead and customize your hardware and you know you can change your memory modification. Let's say you're going to create a SQL server and you want to add more memory to that server. You can go ahead and do that here. Let's say you want to go ahead and add in another network adapter. You can go ahead and do that here also. But we're not going to make any configuration changes in this demo, so let's go ahead and close out. And we're not going to power on this virtual machine either. We're going to make a quick edit when we create the virtual machine. So let's go ahead and choose Finish. And here, as you can see, it was pretty uh, spontaneous in creating it. And here you can see all your devices. Uh, you can add a description to the guest OS. But here we're going to go ahead and right click and we're going to go down to settings. And under settings we're going to go to your floppy and then we're going to disable the connect at power on and then choose OK. Now you want to go ahead and power on this virtual machine so let's go ahead and do that. And here you can see that it's starting to load the files of our ISO and the new pretty Windows 8 slash Windows 2012 icon and here you'll be presented with your Windows setup for your region so change your region time um, to whatever you need it to be and then choose next and then I'll ask you hey do you want to install now yeah as you can see, it's, it's the setup is starting. And this could take, you know, a few seconds, a few minutes, and took a few seconds. So here you're presented with the type of operating system you want to install. So you can see there's standard evaluation for server core and the GUI. And same with the data center. In this demo, we'll be doing the server with a GUI for data center evaluation and choose next. Here this will go over all the licensing terms for Windows Server 2012 data center edition. Um, go ahead and review this and choose I accept the licensing terms and click next. And here it's going to ask you which type of installation do you want. So there's an in-place upgrade for previous versions of Windows so let's just say you're using you know, Windows Server 2008 R2 and you want to go ahead and bump yourself up to Windows Server 2012 um, you would do the upgrade install Windows and keep file setting and applications. Now because we're spinning off a completely new virtual machine we'll want to go ahead and do a custom install Windows only advanced. So let's go ahead and choose that and here as you can see this was the operating system hard drive we created with our virtual machine when we initially configured it. And here you have the opportunity to load drivers or you can do drive options advanced where you can add a new one or you can extend it or format it. In this demo we're not going to be making any modifications. We're going to install the operating system on drive zero. So choose next. And here you can see that the Windows is now starting to install and this will take several minutes so go ahead and pop yourself a bag of popcorn or take a little break and we'll come back in a few minutes. Welcome back everyone and here you can see that Windows completed its installation so we'll go ahead and put in a password for our administrator account and go ahead and choose finish and here you can see that it's finalizing your settings and here is the layout for Windows Server 2012 so let's go ahead and since this is a VMware workstation or guest OS we'll go ahead and do control alt insert and put in our administrator password And here you can see that it's personalizing your settings 
as it uh, completes its first boot through. And here you can see Windows Server 2012 Data Center Evaluation. License valid for 180 days. And here it's automatically opening up Server Manager. And this is kind of your new Server Manager layout, very different from Windows Server 2008 R2. Um, as you can see, uh, you have your Manage, you can add your roles and features and add other servers to Manage or create a server group. It's very different. Anyways, that completes our demo for today for deploying a Windows Server 2012 on a virtual machine. Join me next time. Thanks, guys.